Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is a stellar award-winning Dove-nominated singer, songwriter, and producer whose single, I Agree, is having an impact on the world. Let's take a look. I, can I agree. I agree. I believe. I believe. When God talks about it. to just do that when you hear that you know, music. I just feel it all in me. Please welcome Jonathan Nelson. <laughs> hey. How are you, my dear? How are you, ladies? How Amazing. you doing? How you doing? Good to Good morning. see you. Thank yeah. you for having me. Oh, enjoy yourself. <laughs> Kick back. Get off your feet. I saw y'all dancing a little bit. Yes. Yeah, it's good. Yes. <laughs> of that and yes. Caribbean um, inspiration is just so absolutely. amazing. Absolutely. Yes. And yeah, a little African vibe in that too. Oh, it's very nice. Thank you. Very nice. Love Thank it. you. Thank you. And so we know that you were raised in the church. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah, so when did you know that gospel, even though because we grew up in the church, because I, I was there too, <laughs> right, right, right. we go to the secular realm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, but how did you and when did you know that gospel music was your was your niche? Okay, so I'm from Baltimore, by the way. <laughs> hey, hey, what's up? Hey, oh, you know that, right? <laughs> so um, my father is very, very old school, mm -hmm. Pentecostal. We didn't have oh, I didn't have an option. Mm -hmm. He said, as for me and my house, we're gonna serve the, the Lord. Lord. That's right. So, you know, he plus he had that belt kind of close by, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, that was so serious. gospel was the only option, okay. honestly. <laughs> so when did I know? I, I, okay, so as it relates to the industry, probably about 15 years ago, but just my heart and my passion has always been in the in, in world of gospel. Yeah, okay. I love yeah. that, I love yeah. that. Well listen, many people not, may not know that you started under the name Purpose. What right. actually made you start with that name, but now you're going by your name, Jonathan Nelson. Well, okay, so I had a group, um, uh, uh, probably about 15, 20 years ago, mm -hmm. Donald Lawrence came to Baltimore and I put a group of singers together that morphed into us doing background singing for Karen Clark Sheard, mm, I mean, yes. a lot of different other artists. And Donald said, you know, it's something really unique about you. You have a great gift. I think you should really just kind of launch out and become an artist. Mm. And because I was a songwriter as well. Right. And so he, with his, with his mentoring and his development, that's why I, I kind of moved into just the artistry of being just Jonathan Nelson. Okay. So I'm here today. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And speaking of being here today, you know how sometimes we as artists, we take a hiatus. Yes. And you used to work for a computer company, a computer software company That's for right. a while. And you lost a little bit of money during that whole dot-com surge <laughs> that was going on. So right. how did you manage to regroup after that? Well, it wasn't by choice. Um, mm -hmm. The company, they went under uh, mm -hmm. when the dot-coms went under. Um, I, but I will say this. I think every negative situation um, breeds something positive. Come on yes, now. it does. That's I, a word. Well, I mean, my dad's a preacher, so yeah. excuse Come me if it just word. comes on out, he right? We're here. We're here. Yes. We're here. So, um, if I hadn't lost my job, I would have never been writing songs, mm -hmm. and I would never be sitting here had I not gone through that process. Mm -hmm. So my bounce back was I started developing the gift on the inside, oh, yeah. which is songwriting, and those songs really have brought me to where I am today. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Speaking of bounce back, uh, Stella Award, how about that? And, That's and God a good? huge Won't bounce back. Yeah. 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 That was like the pinkhead bounce back. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that was so amazing. So how did that come about for you? Okay, so when I lost my job, I started mm -hmm. writing songs. One of the, my biggest songs of my career to date Heal. is Healed, yes. of, of which my mentor, Donald Lawrence, recorded. Yes. Um, when he recorded it, he said, hey, man, it's a great song. Let me record it. I said, well, you're Donald Lawrence. It's, it's like it's a no-brainer. <laughs> right. um, and because um, he recorded the song, uh, his his record, it was I think it was I Speak Life record, it did such a tremendous job on the charts and whatnot. We won a Stella Award, and then that began really to open up the doors as it relates to artistry, other songwriting opportunities, and other great things in the music mm. business. Well, those aren't your only chart toppers. You also had The Struggle Is Over. Yes, yes. And My Name Is Victory. Right, right, and right. And so what was your inspiration behind those hits? Well, I, I feel like um, we are anointed, uh, if I can use that word. Absolutely. I know it's a church I mean, word. Yes, you can. Um, but I feel like I personally am anointed to empower and to inspire. And I feel like when you have messages, uh, especially because we live in such a dark world, oh, absolutely. dark times, every time you turn on the news, unfortunately, you see negativity. I feel like I'm anointed to give something positive, some type, some positive reaffirmation, some mm -hmm. positive declaration, a positive. So those songs were really songs to encourage not just the body of Christ or mm -hmm. believers, but to encourage anybody that listens love to that, it. Love that, love that. And people need a little 
level of encouragement absolutely. on a daily basis. Absolutely. It's loaded up on the encouragement. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, for real. I understand what you're saying. I signed at the dotted line. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not only do I agree, but. I believe. Right. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Which was your 2016, I mean, chart topper. Amazing. Yes. yes. Uh, of course, we opened it, uh, opened your segment with it. Uh, Caribbean feel, I mean, African feel, <laughs> as you stated. Yes. Like, what brought that song about? And what do you think it was that made that such a great crossover? Okay, so I will be honest. That was an unplanned hit. I mm. planned for it to be an album filler. I live in South Florida. I'm from Baltimore, but I moved down to Miami. And it's a melting pot of culture. And so I wanted to celebrate the culture that I've begun to experience. And so I just say, okay, let me just kind of put a song to celebrate the culture. I didn't realize that it was going to take over on YouTube. I didn't realize that I was going to hit almost every island. Wow. Like literally, I didn't know that it was going to cross me over into Africa and many other places. Mm -hmm. um, and so I don't, I don't know. It's just, it was just a God thing. I mean, yeah. I, I wrote the song and I just kind of put it out there. And As I just a filler. Kept, yeah, and then it just kind of turned he do into. It? Listen, yeah. that's all I can really say. He did. Those, it, are, usually, okay? yeah, those, those are usually the best ones. The those ones are you don't plan, the right? best ones that you yeah, don't plan. Absolutely. And the thing is, your your new song, I agree, mm -hmm. is making a major impact yes, on the radio yes, right now. Yes. I listen to it on Sirius like, XM. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And you were just talking about how you were in Africa and visiting different yes. continents mm -hmm. and countries. So is that the inspiration behind the sound to integrate? Absolutely. I literally just got back from Africa like yeah. a couple of days ago. Oh, wow. And when I ex started experiencing the culture in the Caribbean and in Africa, they have such a freedom uh, in their expression of worship. I wanted to, to continue to really work in those areas because mm -hmm. they do take good care of us, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. Right. <laughs> and I just really want to continue to celebrate the culture. And I wanted the, 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 the listeners in America to experience what I have been experiencing yes. Yes. in those other cultures. And so I decided to celebrate that culture once yeah. again with those songs. Well, I tell you what, Jonathan, you're going to let it all hang out on September 14th with your new album <laughs> Declaration. Tell us right. a little bit about that. What can we expect? Well, uh, B.B. Winans is uh, a guest uh, on this as well. Uh, I think it's a melting pot of positive um, messages. It's messages us singing to God, but it's also mm -hmm. us kind of listening to his response, how he feels about the people that he created. Yeah. And so, so that's go ahead. amazing. So, September 14th, yes. get on the lookout for Jonathan. Thank you so much for yes. making your way to the circle. And be Thank sure to you. pick up Jonathan's album, Declarations, available September 14th, everywhere music is sold. Everywhere.